I had to change completely the direction because my engineering doctorate was about hardware and then for some reason I decided to change to go to another team that was the programming languages team. And the reason I did this uh, was because I found that what I was doing on hardware was not so deep in mathematics. So I, I decided to go to the programming team. And uh, there I got interested in program verification. Uh, at that time it was a very hot topic and uh, Okay, I had to work a lot because I had a different background and I, I had this idea to, of model checking of which we have developed the theoretical foundations and also some, some methods about how, how to do that. So I passed the state doctorate in uh, 79. So this was more uh, computing science than engineering? Does yes, and I should say that uh, when I passed my thesis in the jury, people were doubting about the interest of the theory because it was a nice piece of theory, uh, very mathematical to their sense, to their taste, but uh, they could not figure out, or at that time, we could not figure out that this could be applicable because of the state explosion problem. So, and some people also, I remember, a member of the jury said uh, there exists no such a thing as finite state program. Well, he was right, of course. Yes. And it's a model, yes. <laughs> yes, okay. But, but uh, so I passed my thesis in uh, 79. And then, as I am a stubborn guy, I worked a lot to find some applications to my, of my results. And, uh, okay, I was lucky because I have interacted with uh, some people who had ideas about how to verify protocols. Because protocols are finite state. We can find good abstractions of finite state abstractions of protocols. So we tried uh, the tool we developed so uh, first, can... yes. But of course, we had at the time uh, uh, limitations. We were able to verify systems up to, to 20,000 states only. But uh, this was the beginning of this, this adventure that was uh, the model checking. So uh, if I jump a little bit, yeah, uh, your current work on autonomous systems, we will discuss a bit later, uh, is benefiting this from your engineering uh, background and uh, experience? Yes, okay, yes, okay. I, I, I have this background in electrical engineering and uh, yes, this has been very useful in all my career because uh, and I think also electrical engineering should be integrated in uh, computing uh, curricula, okay? Because I was always interested not in programs but in systems. So programs running on hardware and systems interacting with the environments, okay? And this, this was the key direction uh, in, my, in my research. 